six months, I injure myself in a way that is uh, incredibly painful and also pathetic. And it's like clockwork. And to the point where I injure myself and I immediately have two thoughts. The first thought is, you know, ow. 
And the second thought is, oh my god, I'm going to tell this story 35,000 times. Everyone who asks me what happened. Somebody's um, uh, excuse me. Yeah, so, for example, six months ago, I sprained my ankle in the middle of a casual conversation. So... I don't, uh, I don't, I don't have time to tell you about that, but I, I have a new contender, a new. Uh, so this happened this week. Um, I, I, uh, I work in an office, and there's candy everywhere. Like with every 10 to 15 feet, there's another jar of candy in a glass jar, which makes sense because we sit for eight hours a day uh, doing nothing. It makes sense that we should have candy everywhere for the sugar buzz so that you can watch The Real Housewives of Atlanta on Hulu uh, in that slow afternoon lag. And uh, it's such a nice feeling when you tell a punchline and you're like, that is a funny punchline. And it's just dead quiet. <laughs> I mean, put yourselves in my shoes if you can. This, this is strange. You, you, you sit at home and you write this and you think, this is... This is going to be really, really funny. And you're confident about that, and then, no. Nope. In fact, I you know sort of these blank looks like... I'm pretty sure I paid $10, and... I'm too drunk, too drunk, oh, excuse me, too drunk to do the math, but that's got to be, I don't know, two, two fifty? That I'm burning right now, and make it better, buddy. All right, so here's what happened with my film. Um, I, uh... I, I don't eat the candy that is in the candy jars, and to be honest with you, that means that uh, I silently judge the people who do. I spend a, a fair amount of time judging the people who eat the candy. The other day I thought, I would like some. I'm human, so I go to the candy jar, and because I know what I think when I see people eat the M&M's, you know, I don't want to make a scene, I don't want to get anyone's attention, because I'm like the ultimate hypocrite in this moment. So I very quietly grabbed some jelly beans out of this glass jar. Uh, just as quiet as it is now, actually, yeah. It's, 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 it recreates the feeling, this is great. Um, and, and I was kind of nervous, you know, I didn't want anyone to see me, because I was like, thinking of these hypocritical thoughts. So I put the lid on the glass jar, and it, it's in, it's closed. But I didn't feel it close, so I, I'm like looking away, like looking around, and I push down on it. And, and I don't know how, I mean, I'm not a very tough looking guy, but I, I blasted that glass into a million shards, like under my hand, and uh, you know, jelly beans and glass shards and a, a fair amount of Colin's blood went sort of general air. It was quite an awful scene, and it was weird because everyone's kind of like sleeping at their desk and it was like somebody yelled action, and like somebody's running, somebody's calling 911, like somebody produces a vacuum, like I don't know, like from their pocket, you know, like it's unreal. And, and I had to go to a place called Urgent Care, and I got 10 stitches uh, because I wanted to get some jelly beans. <laughs> Which seems unjust, I think. Uh, but what's, what's, what sucks most about that is here I'm the guy judging people for eating candy. Now, who do they think of first when they think of candy in the office? <laughs> Me. I'm at the head of the candy line, right? What's even weirder about that is it's kind of a pretty heavy-handed heavy-handed moral lesson, wouldn't you say? I mean, the time does not really fit the crime in this instance. Uh, but I'm going to tell my kids about it. I don't have kids, so I'm going to tell... What's happened? I'm, gonna tell, I'm hearing myself. That's fine. That was... Wow. Um, I think this would just be my routine. Go with the um, I, I, I don't have kids, so I'm not going to tell my kids about it, but I'm going to tell kids, I'm going to tell your kids about it, about this, this cautionary tale that I've experienced. And I will tell them that when you eat candy, you will get ten stitches in your thumb. That's a virtual certainty. But before that happens, little boy or little girl, you will sit uh, in a room in a place called Urgent Care and sign and date 13 individual forms, trying not to bleed on them, before anyone will help you. Uh, you will also sit in a room with the word trauma on the door, unattended, bleeding politely and silently for at least 45 minutes before anyone will come to see you. And you think to yourself, this is called urgent care. Like, I brought the urgent part. Like, how do I get the care? I, I don't know. So, 